In recent months, Turkey has shown a strong commitment to strengthening its military power through the purchase of advanced fighter jets, one of the main focuses of which is the Eurofighter Typhoon, a multi-role fighter jet recognized as one of the best in the world. Amidst dynamic diplomatic relations between Turkey and European countries, efforts to acquire the Eurofighter Typhoon continue to be a high priority for the Turkish government. Recently, the world's attention was drawn to the visit of the Chief of the General Staff of the Turkish Armed Forces, General Metin Gürek, to the UK, a visit that was significant because he visited RAF Koningsby Air Base, one of the main bases for the Eurofighter Typhoon in the UK. During the visit, General Gürek even posed with one of the Typhoon fighter jets, marking a moment full of symbolism regarding Turkey's intention to acquire the fighter jet. Turkey has a long history of defense cooperation with Western countries, especially within the framework of NATO. As an important member of NATO, Turkey plays a strategic role in the defense of the European and Middle East regions. However, Turkey's relations with several NATO member states, especially the United States and Germany, have been strained in recent years. This is mainly due to Turkey's independent foreign policy and the purchase of the S-400 air defense system from Russia, which has triggered sanctions and restrictions on Turkey's arms program. However, Despite the challenges, Turkey continues to modernize its air force and the Eurofighter Typhoon, developed by a consortium of the UK, Germany, Italy, and Spain, is seen as the ideal solution for Turkey's defense needs. The aircraft not only offers superior capabilities in air combat, but is also equipped with advanced technologies that can enhance Turkey's overall defense capabilities. General Gürek's visit to RAF Koningsby Air Base was not just an ordinary visit in a diplomatic context. This visit can be seen as part of Turkey's intensive lobbying efforts to gain approval from the UK and other countries for the purchase of the Eurofighter Typhoon. The UK's position as one of the main developers of the Typhoon makes it an important partner in these negotiations. During the visit, General Gürek reportedly had the opportunity to see firsthand the various advanced features and capabilities of the Eurofighter Typhoon. In addition, he also met with British military officials to discuss the potential for closer defense cooperation between the two countries. The photo of General Gürek posing with the Typhoon sends a clear message that Turkey is serious about acquiring the fighter jet. Despite Turkey's strong commitment, the road to acquiring the Eurofighter Typhoon is not easy. First, there are diplomatic issues to be resolved. Tensions between Turkey and several NATO member states, including Germany, could influence the final decision regarding the sale of the Typhoon. Germany, as one of the Typhoon developers, has significant influence in this regard. In addition, Turkey's purchase of the Typhoon must also be approved by all members of the consortium, which means that not only the UK, but also Germany, Italy, and Spain must agree. This negotiation process is likely to take some time, and the outcome is uncertain. On the other hand, Turkey also faces internal challenges regarding the defense budget. The purchase of the Eurofighter Typhoon will require a huge investment. 
and Turkey must ensure that its defense budget is able to accommodate this purchase without sacrificing other military modernization programs. Nevertheless, opportunities remain, as the UK has shown a willingness to strengthen defense ties with Turkey, especially in the context of military-industrial cooperation. This could be a key factor that could help Turkey in its bid to acquire the Eurofighter Typhoon. In addition, Turkey also has the ability to offer strategic partnerships that could be attractive to the typhoon developing countries, such as cooperation in component production or technology transfer. In a dynamic geopolitical context, Turkey's bid to acquire the Eurofighter Typhoon is one example of how the country continues to strive to strengthen its position on the international stage. General Metin Gurak's visit to the UK and his posing with a Typhoon fighter jet are clear evidence of this commitment. In the coming months and years, it will be interesting to see how these negotiations develop and whether Turkey finally manages to get the Eurofighter Typhoon it wants, hopefully what we hope to get. And Turkey must ensure that its defense budget is able to accommodate this purchase without sacrificing other military modernization programs. Nevertheless, opportunities remain, as the UK has shown a willingness to strengthen defense ties with Turkey, especially in the context of military-industrial cooperation. This could be a key factor that could help Turkey in its bid to acquire the Eurofighter Typhoon. In addition, Turkey also has the ability to offer strategic partnerships that could be attractive to the typhoon developing countries, such as cooperation in component production or technology transfer. In a dynamic geopolitical context, Turkey's bid to acquire the Eurofighter Typhoon is one example of how the country continues to strive to strengthen its position on the international stage. General Metin Gurak's visit to the UK and his posing with a Typhoon fighter jet are clear evidence of this commitment. In the coming months and years, it will be interesting to see how these negotiations develop and whether Turkey finally manages to get the Eurofighter Typhoon it wants, hopefully what we hope to get.